I don't know if you can see that, but basically what I've done, get the camera off, might help. I've, um, I've used these fiberglass glass rods under tension. They just rest on the top there, bend, and they hold these uh, these braces down. I've just done two of them, because so I'm going enough rods to do all four. Um, I'm going to leave that overnight, let it dry, and hopefully, when I come back tomorrow, I'll be able to take the rods off and just put the other two on. Um, and that'll bring me back. Well, that's starting the back, really. I've only got a bit more to do, a bit more work on it. But um, that's the main part of that. the two main braces on the back. OK. Um, right. It's been overnight. I'm going to take these go bars off. Um, let's see what it looks like. too much glue on here because it's more important to make sure that these actually do stick on properly because they're really important. You can see, or well you probably see, that there are little uh, marks in the wood where the uh, go bars have uh, been pressed on the, on the bracing. That's not a problem, I'm, I'm just going to run a, a fine plane across those, just take those out and then I'll clean up the glue with a chisel and then sand it back down again. But I'm not going to do that until I've got the, uh, the other two on, which I'll do now. But it's got, it's taken up the shape, I don't know if you can see that, but it's taken up the shape beautifully. It's absolutely spot on. I'm dead shocked with that. So I'll do the other two, put those back under, and um, once we've done that, I've got the, uh, the, the there are, uh, if you look inside a guitar, um, or at least a guitar that's actually made out of wood rather than plywood or, uh, or anything else, you will find that the center, there's a centre strip that goes down there. Now most people think that's in one piece that goes on first and then the bracings are fitted over the top. But they're not actually, that actually fit, they're, they're, there's a cut to size between the bracings. Um, and it's, it's, it's quite a precise job to get it right. Um, but that's my next little uh, job after I've got um, the rest of these, well these next two bracings on. Once those are done, and this is sanded back down and cleaned up, that's the back actually finished. And it's ready to stick onto the, uh, the sides. And then we've got the thing with the, with the, uh, the front of the guitar. This is the front, as you may remember. Um, this obviously is going to need a final bit of sanding, but it's quite nice. So I like the, uh, I like the grain in the wood. And again, what a lot of people don't realise, you see a guitar, somebody playing a guitar, you have absolutely no idea what's on behind there. And even the very, very cheapest guitars are actually full of bracing. I don't know if you can see all that, uh, all those bracing marks. These, every line on here has to have bracing fitted to it. I've shifted it forward. Normally, uh, that cross would be down here. But I've moved it up um, to give me a, a better bass response on the, on the back down here. The only problem that gives me is normally there's like a sound hole, reinf uh, sound hole reinforcing that goes around here. Um, now because the brace has moved so far forward it doesn't leave me a lot of space to fit a, uh, normally they're like wooden strips, they just fit across 
uh, in like um, like an octon or a, or a pentagon all going around it. Um, but what I thought I might do, I mean this is still um, this is this is still a maybe. I thought I might try and cut out a, um, like a, a circle just to fit in this inside there. It'd have to be quite narrow, but I think I could do it. And it'll fit just inside there. I can't actually fit it onto the edge because I've only recently thought of it and I've already sanded this down. So if I try and fit something to it, it'll be so obvious that uh, it's been stuck on. So I'll set it back slightly and see how it goes. If I decide to do it, I might decide that I might be taking things a bit too far because I mean it doesn't need a lot of sound hole reinforcement because I'll probably put some down here, but it's got a fair bit around it anyway. But we'll see, we'll see how we go. All I'm going to do now is put the rest of this, um, the rest of this bracing on. Okay, so that's the uh, last two braces put on there. Um, that's holding down really well. Um, at the moment, uh, because of the way the bracing works, it's bending the, the um, it, it's bending the back in a, a, a that way rather than that way. That bend on it will come when we actually put it on the back because that the back itself is, uh, is is obviously shaped to fit but it's looking really good I'm quite happy with that um, it's looking pretty good give it a lot of strength as well um, there are other things I could do I could do a bit more on the neck and I could do uh, a little bit more on the on the front um, I've already cut the the, uh, the cross bracings there, ready to fit on onto the back. But I can't really do that because I've only got the one go bar, um, one, one go bar deck. So I'll have to wait until that's finished before I can um, do any more. But I want to finish the back, just get the back completely finished, and then I'll work on the front because the front is the main uh, main thing. That's where all the sound comes from, really, in the guitar. Um, so there's not a great deal more I can do at the moment. I'll leave it for a couple of hours, see how this looks. And um, we'll take it from there. I don't think there's much else I can show you at the moment. It's just a question of uh, playing the waiting game. <coughs>